hello everyone welcome back to my channel um so today as you can see so yes we have a meow cafe video um so the first half of this video is going to be like a little review and then the second half is going to be like me storing um my three i guess like mini groups or like my three i don't want to say side groups that sounds like so bad <laughs> like not side groups but like my three um like espa idol and red velvet collections all are going to be in this one binder um so yeah we'll store that second but let's do the review first so um they came in a standard box of course <laughs> i'm trying to think about like how far back i go for the review um because when i watch reviews i want to see like the whole details like they need to give me everything if they don't give me all the details then i'm like okay girl on to the next video um <laughs> but anyway so i bought the bundle um i'll put like the screenshot hopefully if i remember of like the exact um like listing that i bought from their website um but essentially it was like the it had like blue plus blue i think it's because of the like the outside colors blue and then also the inside colors blue i think that's why they do like the naming that way like blue plus blue um but then plus the the 20 pocket pages um oh it says 50. well it said it was like two packs i guess each pack is 25. i don't know um <laughs> but uh yeah let's see this first um so it can't I bought the pack with the or the bundle with the patch with the pages. I wanna say patches. Um so oh that's cool. Sorry. I didn't really look at this because I wanted to save it for the review. Um but it comes with backboards, so that's cool. Um let me see. Yeah, two A4. By the way, this is the biggest binder that I own. The A4 plus is huge. Um I don't even think it's gonna fit on my shelf. But yeah, there are oh shit. Okay, yeah, so I must have bought <laughs> like the mega pack or something um everything so all 50 pages the two backboards and the actual binder all of it ran me like 64 dollars so it was 60 for the entire bundle and then it was like four something for the shipping or no for taxes sorry um the shipping was free if you spend 60 um you get free shipping on meow cafe so i got the free shipping but at what cost but <laughs> but anyway um i did need of course need is um i guess subjective but <laughs> for my collection purposes i did indeed need this so yeah y'all i needed this binder because i wanted just to keep it all i've tried doing like the separate binders if you've been on my channel i'm pretty sure like you've seen like these three collections move from like a4 standard to like the a5 and then to an a4 again and now i'm finally moving it to this a4 plus um so yeah it's been a journey y'all but um but that's cool i didn't know it was going to come with the backboard so that's cool it's going to keep like the everything intact um so yeah this is the bundle portion so if you buy the bundle you'll get two backboards um i know you can't really tell but it is two um it even says the two pieces and then you get 50 pages i thought it was 25 pages um but hey i'm not going to complain so <laughs> uh for 60 dollars, i guess yeah i am happy that i got 50 pages so i'll like never run out <laughs> okay so that was that. And then for the actual binder, it comes in this sleeve. So it is the oh, A4 Plus, the two inch 4D ring binder. Um, they're KO4 series. Now I will say this about Meow Cafe. Um, they have like a lot of like, the way that they list their items is like kind of confusing. And it turned me off from like the website for a while. And I'm sure they have like a reason why they name it. I just personally don't like their naming system to be 100% honest with you, but um, but like yeah like the a4 plus like k keep like all the terminology maybe i'm slow maybe i'm not their like their demographic because maybe their demographic is smarter than me <laughs> but like it's not intuitive to me like there's so many like terms and stuff um like i guess like they kind of do like it's just like if you see like the tiny font like on the this is exactly how the listings look i don't know why i keep saying listings I'm thinking about Etsy, but like, um, I guess like the product listing on the website, um, it has like all this like information and some of it is useful. I don't know. It's just the way that they like, let's just say this. I'm trying to transfer away from Mondu Deco a little bit because I keep seeing horror stories. Um, so Meow Cafe was like one that I was looking at, but I really don't like a hundred percent love like the, the website, the branding. I feel like it's very like, um, it's very confusing like like i said it's not very intuitive to me that's just my opinion maybe they'll fix it maybe they don't care about um 
people's opinions like mine, which is fine because they can run it however they want. <laughs> but yeah, for me, it's not that great. Um, but maybe if I give it time, like I'll just get used to it. But let me know if you feel that way too or if I'm like crazy. Okay, little um, binder asthma. I know it's ASMR, but I think it's funny when people say asthma. Um, ooh, okay, well, I'll put this right here. Ooh, I just kind of dragged, dragged that around. Hopefully you can zoom in if you need it. Okay, so I was kind of reading it a little bit, um, and essentially they have an A4 plus, um, so you could double, like double, um, what's it called? Like double sleeve, yeah, double sleeve cards. Okay, so they created this to hold a tin pocket that could actually hold double sleeve cards. I like double sleeving my cards. I know some people like single sleeving theirs. Um, it just gives me anxiety. Like, I don't like it. I feel like it's not secure. Um, <laughs> so that's why I decided to go with this. Here are all the versions. Um, so, so far, I just have the tin pocket right here. Um, but this is cute. I like this. I don't, like, any other K-pop company, like, supply company I've ordered from, don't, or, like, I haven't seen these or haven't seen something similar to this. So, I think it's really creative. And I like it because it actually tells you, like, you know, what would fit in the binder. Um, that too, I'm, it's also like partially me as the consumer because I buy things and I'm like, I try to like measure it and like think it'll fit and then it doesn't fit. It's a whole mess. But um, yeah, make sure you read carefully when you're ordering, specifically on Meow Cafe, because there's a lot of details as you can see like in the listings. <laughs> um, just to make sure you like, you know what you want to buy. Okay, so here's the actual um, binder. So this is really cute. It comes with a little like, I was gonna say meow cafe button it is a meow cafe button but i was gonna say a little cat button <laughs> y'all excuse me i haven't filmed in like so long um it comes with this little strap which is black i wish it was mm, i'll say i wish it was white to like i feel like the white and blue would look really cool but the black is still cool um here is the side this is what they're like known for like the little design cat cut out um, I think it's so that you can easily like put your finger in it and pull it from the shelf, which is also cool. And then they have their logo on the back. Here's the entire back of it. And then finally, opening it. Oh, oh shit. Oh, okay. Well, it came with two. <laughs> oh, that's cool though. Um, I guess like if you buy it, it comes on its own. Um, let me see if there's a difference. So this is the one that came no oh they are a little different i don't know if you can see but this one's a little taller so this one on the right is the one that came with the bundle and that little packet um and the one on the left is the one that came like in, oh you can't even see that you can see the difference at the top a little bit um but yeah so the one on top is slightly taller and i guess it fits perfectly yeah it does this one is like a little I mean, they both fit well. I think you really wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Um, but, you know, some people appreciate the little differences. So the one on the left is 237 by 317 millimeters. And the one on the right is the 237 by 326 millimeters. So if you want, if you buy the A4 Plus and you want like an exact fit, I think these fit the pages as well. That's why they're also this size. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's like, I think the only difference is the size. Um, but that's cool. But I'll definitely be using these just because if it's a perfect fit, you know, why not? Um, but I'll definitely save this in case I do get another binder and they don't come with it. Um, like I said, just make sure you read the details on the website to make sure that, you know, you order. If you want backboards, you make sure it comes with backboards. If it doesn't, buy them separately. So, yeah. Okay. So, it also comes with this little replacement button. So, I'm not going to take it out of the packaging. Hopefully, you can see it because I don't want to lose it. Um, but basically, it's to replace this button. I think if you just, like, get a little smaller head screwdriver and just, like, take it out from the back. If you don't, for some reason, don't want the, like, the, um, the cap button, you can replace it with, like, a standard button. And it's actually, like, considerably smaller, too. So maybe that's why, if you just want more practicality. Um, but I think this is cute, so I'll definitely keep it like this. Um, but yeah, so it's just a got a little messy um so this is just a standard binder you know that's why i wanted to do this little part because um i kept looking for reviews and like y'all nobody goes into detail like i need details y'all like um 
but you know, if you don't see it, be it, okay? So that's why I decided to do this. Um, but yeah, here's a little side view or top down view. Um, let me see. I can try to find the, my regular G Idol binder. So this is the difference in size from like a standard binder and the Meow Cafe, the plus one. Um, I don't know if they have like regular A4s. Um, I didn't, I don't think I saw regular A4s because I was thinking about getting just a regular one like this. Um, but I didn't see it. So um, essentially I just stuck with this. Um, let me put the backboards in really quick. Um, and then also I was about to reach for it. Another detail, they don't have little clamps. So you just got to pull it. Um, I personally don't care about that. But um, if you do, just know that they don't come with little clasp on the side. You just gotta rip it open. Um, but yeah, it's really nice and sturdy. Hopefully you can hear that. It's made of this like, um, I don't know what the material is called, like specifically, but we all know the material. <laughs> it's, it's like evading me right now. But um, if you know it, comment it. Um, Cause you know, I once I get to filming mode, I start like slowly losing my brain power. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, let me see. Let me just put like a, one pack of pages in. Um, but yeah, this is huge. They also sell like, of course, the corresponding um, like sleeve sizes and stuff uh, that you would need for this. Um, for the pages, let me see. The pages. Okay, they go like this. Um, the pages feel standard i guess um not as thick as if you own Mondo deco's like a5 pages i've never tried their a4 pages so i don't want to compare it to that but um the a5 pages are like a little thicker than what this feels like um so yeah that's like the only point of reference i really have um they're definitely feel better than like <laughs> like cheap knockoff Amazon ones. Um, you know, like if you go to, I'm not gonna knock it girl because I had to start there too. Um, I had to start with like Amazon pages and then I upgraded slowly. Um, so no shade to them. Oh, why did I do that? I put it on top of the binder board or the backboard. <laughs> so let me take it out. Oh, not me messing up a binder review. Oh my God. Okay, there we go. I just need to take this out and put it on top. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, I feel like a binder review can go pretty fast. <laughs> it's not like it has like, you know, fucking LED lights or something crazy. Um, but yeah, just in case you wanted it, I wanted to like break it down a little bit. Oh my. But yeah, as I keep using it, I guess I can give better like insights and details. Um, but yeah pretty much normal setup um it is a big binder so i have to get used to that like if you can see me flipping it it's like sometimes it has like a little resistance <laughs> plus it's a d-ring too so um like sometimes when it goes over this little like the apex of the of like the top of it or the i don't want to say climax no i think it is apex when it gets to the top of the like the ring it can catch sometimes um, but I mean, so far, it's fine. Um, but yeah, that is the little mini review part of this video done. Um, like I said, if you want, like, more details, um, you could ask me in the comments. Um, but essentially, oh my god, my desk is so dirty. Um, essentially, that is the binder. Here's one little last look with some pages and stuff in it. Um, but yeah, I think this will last me a long time. Apparently, it's supposed to hold, I think it said at the front, like 75 pages or something like that. Um, I don't double, like, I don't do two cards in one spot. So, I don't know, I can't think of the name, of course, because I'm filming and I'm talking and I can't do both. <laughs> um, but essentially, I only double sleeves, so, because I like to see the backs of my cards. Um, so yeah, I don't double step two cards. I think you can, let me see, actually, with the before i close the review out um for the pages i don't think there's a back no so it's just the front opening and these are um side loading so really i'm gonna store it like this 
um which will be interesting for filming purposes just because this binder is like so huge like <laughs> i feel like it's gonna like fall off while i'm storing or something hopefully not um but yeah that is pretty much it and now we can move on to the storing portion so i'll see you there okay so let's start with espa um i didn't buy any like sleeves that will be able to hold like the transition pages i guess you can say in my binder so like i don't have any like a4 plus of these and i don't want to put any other size in there so uh, it's gonna be kind of annoying i might just have to like not store these because <laughs> i don't have the pages yet um but we'll see okay and i don't even know how i want to store espa because it's a five page layout so basically i'm troubleshooting this all right now <laughs> so isn't that great guys isn't that so great okay let's get started i know hopefully the sleeves and everything like fit um i do know that they recommend 61 by 91 which i do have those sleeves um but some of my cards are stored in like a little bigger so i might have to like re-sleeve can you tell that i don't sound that enthusiastic about that part yeah very fun <laughs> okay let's go so here is um like i don't even know i'm gonna have to put these up somewhere this is why you shouldn't change your mind so much <laughs> because it's so annoying um okay so for espa i do have some like four like sets um if you don't know for espa i only collect um meaning in winter and then if i do come across like four sets like these were the k-town for you pops um if i do come across these like full sets i do like to keep them i just don't know how i want to store them is the thing um especially because they are indeed um a four member group going into a five <laughs> spot binder so let's see um i could do it like this i could like space it out i think i'll space it out like this so let's try this Oh my god, please. Yes, okay, if it's y'all about to have a conniption. Um I might have to store them like outside. Ooh shit. These are like really snug, which I do like because um that means they come out. But I mean that means they won't come out, but it, it's also bad because they won't come out, you know? But there's like a little wiggle room. Um, but for the most part, <gasps> wow what a perfect fit so yeah these are 60 so the inner sleeve is like oh let me see okay so these are the sleeves that i use these are mondu deco sleeves so i have the 57 by 88 inner sleeve and the 61 by 91 outer sleeve hopefully you can see those um and i think these like hollow sleeves are also 61 by 91 um because yeah i don't think they'd fit so the the actual slot of these is like 63 by 93 so if you get, I was also curious about this, um, if you get 61 by 91 or like you own that already, I think that's like a pretty standard size sleeve, um, they'll definitely fit and it's actually very snug. So yay, happy. Okay, if you hear my mom in the background, ignore her. <laughs> <laughs> Loud as hell. Um, girl, how can I hear you from all the way upstairs? Anyway, <laughs> okay, me and my mom, like we have like more like, um, we have a carefree relationship, so if you're wondering, like, uh-uh, why is she talking to her mom like that? Girl, we talk to each other like crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm going to do this for the setup. Um, let's see. I made these little inserts. <gasps> do they fit? I hope they fit. Please fit? Damn. No, they don't fit. Okay. So, that's a problem for later me off camera. Uh, I'm going to have to, like, remake those and, like, slim them down. Oh, have fun. Um, it is fun whenever I don't have anything else to do, but when I'm busy, it's kind of not that fun. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the next card set. So this is another full set. This is the, what was it? The, um, I don't remember. The Season's Greetings, um, I think the first set? Because there's two sets. Um, I believe this is K-Town for you. I really don't remember, honestly. Um, so hopefully you guys don't hate me for that, <laughs> but I know there's so many like groups, so many like pre-order benefits. It's hard to like nail them all down sometimes. So, uh, but I do, or I will say that so far the, like the snugness of like 
the fit is like a one it's so good um because these same like 61 by 91 if you have ultra pro pages they have like a lot of wiggle room and they slip out so i'm actually really happy so like if i go like this girl they're not going nowhere okay that's what i needed so here's the next set um this is gonna be kind of ox <laughs> awkward because yeah this is gonna be awkward because i don't know i mean not no i don't have um another set for this which sucks um so was, i wanted them all to kind of like be together or maybe i should like should i like do these concept cards together and then like these start off the the new like wave of cards i'll do that um yeah because oh let's test to see how like good they come out i just i'm scared of like bending the card so i'm gonna have to be a little gentle because they do fit well and like the way you have to put your pressure on this like you kind of have to put your finger underneath um but there's like two sleeves so i mean it shouldn't bend it too bad if it does bend right yeah i feel like they do kind of bend a little bit but and that's okay let me not be too nitpicky um because it's not the the brand or like the sleeves fault um it's just the nature of you know of collecting photo cards um because i do want the snug fit so i just have to like be careful when i'm like taking them out to like not bend them too much um but yeah guys you can see like they in there they're in there good yeah coming from these ultra pro pages um it is definitely like an upgrade to have them fit this snug so i'm really happy about that um so yeah these little filler things right here will be in the middle eventually i just gotta like <laughs> resize and recut but th those little pink cutouts that you saw for the fillers are gonna go in the middle i just gotta recut and reshape but um wow so pretty one thing i criticism i had about this um photo card set i know i'm going off on a random tangent is that they're all the same backs so it's kind of like i don't know which one is like <laughs> i wish like they had different backs so you could see like or remember like which set was like the k-town for you which set was like you know i guess it's kind of easy in this case because um the pre-order cards were actually selfie cards and the other ones were like concept cards so i guess i'm just complaining for no reason um i was also thinking about like selling like the other versions of like karina and giselle just because i don't collect them and like that way i could just like keep like Ning and like winter together but i i do like the entire group i just don't collect the full group of like my side groups because that's just too much to do um so i just narrow it down to like like i force myself to like at least half the group so if it's like a four member group obviously i just collect two like idol i collect two because they're kind of like five um but i do i guess we'll get more into that when we get into the idol section but i think i want to pick up a third member um originally i was picking up four but then it felt bad to leave one member out <laughs> i don't know it's so weird um okay so that is it for this now i don't know if i should do like fillers to like break these up or just move on to the next set so like for example i like storing by concept so like i have all my esper right here like for the season's greetings but um because it's three sets it's kind of awkward and also um i don't know i think i'm just gonna have to like you guys know i change my mind all the time <laughs> so let's just move on to the next um era which is drama or not really because season's greetings not an era but drama is an era so here are all my winter drama cards. Now this is also a problem because I collected um, just these two and the amount of cards that I collected ended up being six. So it's six cards <laughs> instead of five, um, which I don't even know what I want to do in these type of scenarios either. Very annoying um, dilemma. Maybe I should not view it negatively. It's, you know, it's a fun challenge. Let's let's, let's reframe, y'all, how we tackle stuff. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I rarely collected Espa. I've been liking Espa since their debut, but I've only collected... 
So yeah, I don't, I have six cards. So like, I don't know. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know how I want to like do this. Um, so yeah, like how would I do a six member layout? Cause then I was also thinking about these, like I could do them like in fours like this. Um, so I don't know. I have six cards. So I guess we could just like <laughs> break it up like this. Okay. Let me see. Hmm. I'll do like similar hairstyles or like concepts together. So um, let's do Walmart. Um, but they're all drama, so <laughs> that's fine. I'm gonna, I'm destroying them for now, but, um, of course, yeah, like I said, I always end up, like, messing with them and, like, doing different things. So, but that's it for, um, Winter's page. Um, I'm gonna try to store them in the same layout for me. Um, let me see, I know this one is... This one is the Walmart version. I know this is the Walmart version because the fucking Walmart version was like so hard to find. Like I, <laughs> I overpaid for it like by a long shot. Um, let me see. The second red card is I don't know this version, <laughs> but I do know that it has a red back and it's the other red back of the Walmart version. So as long as I know like one of them, I can kind of guess what the other ones are. Um, the two black bats are on the back um the red one there's a red and a oh let me see this one is a white version so i'll put this right here and then this one is this version Oops. and then yeah this is the other white version this is the target version i know this one because the target versions i always i collect target um versions for most groups so it's kind of easy for me to remember that one so that's good i guess um but here are all meanings cards so yeah if you i don't know if how it would fit like single sleeve because i don't single sleeve um but double sleeve they're fitting really nice so um i have to drive that point home because i really do it's like a nice change from <laughs> like everything else everything else is just so like loose fitting and it like drove me insane which was like partly why i was like very careful about like what size and what sleeves would fit in what um even though they're different brands like the sleeves are mondu deco but i at least wanted to make sure that you know they fit snugly because i cannot stand when they don't um but okay so let's move on to mm, what group goes next i want to do espa first let's do Let's do idol. Um, okay, let's just store before like <laughs> I get like choice paralysis. Like if I take too long, like I'm one of those people who can just like sit here and think about it forever and then never do it. But if I don't I have to force myself to just put it out there. Kinda like same thing when I draw. I just have to like put it out there. If it works, it works. And also like this thing where certain groups I do certain things. So like for Espa, I store them on opposite, like I store just Winter and Neening on separate pages. But then for Idol, I don't know why I decided to store like, like this, like with them, like across from each other. Oh, I have no clue. I'm gonna have to like do some type of like renovation to these binders to make everything uniform. Um, so that way like <laughs> I can keep it consistent. Um, but for Espa, I think I am just gonna have to like put like both members on the same page, the original idea that I was talking about. Um, so I think I like how it looks with not just one member. Like I think this is cute. So we'll see y'all, we'll see. Um, how do I store this? I think I'll put these in the middle. Oh Jesus, it's already irking me the way this is turning out. Maybe I will do that. I was gonna do it by concept, but I think I'll do all album cards. So, um, 
because these are the three versions, but there's only three versions. So, and I kind of kept these together because they're pink and because they're the queen like version, the queen cough version. Um, I do know my favorite version was this version. This fa this photo card is like my favorite photo card of like any group, I think. Um, well, specifically Idol. Um, I don't know, like everything about it is just like so pretty. Um, and I was also thinking like, <laughs> should I do the pods in the middle? Because they're like, they're pods, you know? But there wasn't a fourth set of this. So now you guys know why it takes me so long to like, do things because like i'm pretty much talking you through all the things i think of how are we feeling do we hate it love it um okay so for <laughs> that page i guess is done um, I guess I'll just put these digipack cards for the butterfly version. By the way, when they did that, I was like, there's no way. I'll oh, see. This one has like one of the big sleeve cards that I used to have. So I'm going to have to replace that. We'll see, y'all. We'll see. Hopefully you'll see the finished version soon. <laughs> um, I think she'll fit. Yeah, she has an old sleeve. Um, ooh, isn't that so pretty? I think I might move this one to the middle just because I only have like, these two are like pink, these two are blue if I move this one to the middle, but we'll do that later. But wow, I do like this tin layout though. Um, I think specifically for like these groups, which is why I bought it. I thought it was really cool. So there's that. So here we have some Lucky Draw stuff and some like normal Polaroids. Um, the Lucky Draws were in this version, the um, cat version. So, how do I want to do this? So these two, and I have polka cards for the butterfly version. Yeah, that's one thing about Idol though I do not like is that they do like a lot of, like they'll do polka versions, but it's like for every version. So like they don't do just like one type of card, which I guess is normal because Twice did the same thing with the Nemo cards and I didn't like that either. <laughs> but um. Yeah, it's just a lot of shit to collect if you want to collect everything, which is why I don't. <laughs> um, and I'm fine with that. I feel like to be a completionist is to be like, it would just be too stressful for me. So that's fine. How do I want to store this? Mm, so I'm just going to start here. Whatever. Yeah, I'm going to collect some stuff, guys, just to like keep you not bored, just to watch you do this. Um, yeah, I guess we'll find out in post-production right on everything. Um, but at any point, I skip forward, then, um, yeah, that's about the take. Sorry, you hate that. <laughs> I apologize. Um, because I know I talked about it, like, a little while back, how, like, if you are a reviewer, like, collector who doesn't, like, go into depth about things, I'm definitely not gonna do it for you, because I will yuck it you off. But, um, hey, the people that love it go viral with me, okay? That's just what I've come to settle with, so. That's fine by me. Um, hopefully you find somebody who's teaching me better. But to everyone, oh, well, I mentioned that in my, like, last video. I had a lot of people saying, like, no, like, I really love, or, like, I love that version. Not version, what am I talking about? I love, like, the fact that you talk more than just, like, sit, sit in silence, and I was like, wow, okay, I found my people. Um, so thank y'all for, um, that you rock with my style of okay, creation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I think in my head I said I was not gonna do this. I was gonna put it in the middle, I'm not gonna put it in the middle. Yeah, this is definitely has to be fast forward because like, what am I doing? Um, oh yeah, these are like, oh shit. <laughs> okay, well, that just came off. Um, yeah, you need to prove to see how, like, how perfectly they fit. They are perfect fit. So, I definitely, um, be kind of saying that whenever you do decide to order, or if you decide to order. Um, I mean, hey, at least I'm not like, wrinkling the pages. I think if they were like, cheaper made, they would definitely be like, wrinkled by now. You know, you get in mm -hmm. Okay, it fits. Perfect. And I also think like double sleeving helps, you know, like prevent it from like wrinkling and like being too delicate too. So, um, but that's that page. Like I said, everything's a work in progress. <laughs> For the million time. Okay, so let's move on to, I think this is heat. I think this might be the bigger sleeve I was talking about. Hmm. Oh, no. Kind of hard to tell. 
because they fit so well. Um, but yeah, this is also a new experience. Like, <laughs> I guess filming this way too, because um, filming sideways. I thought that would be fun. This one sleeved correctly. And then my famous only missing card from my wish list. Um, <laughs> my Target version. So sad. I have me on Target version. Um, but this one I cannot find at all. Somebody offered me to join a Go, but like, I have weird feelings towards Go's. Like, I just don't want to like, I feel like joining, first of all, joining a Go for like one card. I feel like the prices are like, unless there's something I'm missing, like you got to pay like initial shipping and then domestic shipping. I think if it, you know, if it applies to you or I think just in general, because like you're basically paying for the shipping that they send to you or like partial of it, of course, like it's split between everyone. And then you also have to pay like for them shipping it to you. And it's like, girl, that comes out to like, what, 13 from what I've seen, the average is like 11 12 or $13 for one card. Like, no, I'm not doing that. Um, <laughs> I'm like, no, ma'am, sorry. Like, it's just too much. Um, See, so I know people do that, and it's like the only way or like the main way they like secure certain cards. But like, it just doesn't feel good to like spend that much. Um, especially for something that's supposed to be like a little hobby. It's supposed to be fun. Like, I don't mind spending money, obviously. Like, I just bought all this for, like, $60 or $64, which is a lot of money. But, um, but, like, I'll do it if I think it's worth it or if I really like it. Um, but, like, for one card, uh, no. It doesn't sound fun. Um, but, yeah, that's just this from Heat. Okay, um, and then, sadly... I'm gonna keep the fillers for them, but I did not, and I, as of now, don't plan to collect anything for um, for two, um, which is sad because they had really pretty cards. It's just that I might do it late, but the thing about me is that I don't like collecting if like if it's too far from like the initial release. Um, I don't know. I could go back. Like I have the fillers for it, like <laughs> or like I like for the when I was gonna do it. Like I have all these fillers right here. Ooh, I um, like I had all the fillers, but I don't know. I'll save the fillers. I might change my mind, you never know. And another sad part is that I bought these like A5 binders and now I have no idea what I'm gonna do with and I feel like I wasted my money. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I have like my red velvet, like my mini little red velvet collection, um, which doesn't have like that many cards at all. So this will be fast, but I don't know, maybe I'll use them as like larger inclusions or like random inclusions. Ugh, I don't know. But um, I did buy the bag version, so um, I do have a full set for these. For the girlies right here. I do not have like, um, I think this is age order. I'm not too sure. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't store an age order for any group anyway, so <laughs> it's fine if it's not age order. Um, but I do have like this five member set, so I was like, I wanted to keep it. I didn't want to sell anything. Um, so yeah, that's cute. So let me see. So I guess I'll just store like five sets if I get them here. And then for like the actual things that I collect. <laughs> <laughs> for the actual members is only Irene and Sohi, two members. And so far that's fine. Let me see, this one is this version. Are these the, I think these are the, um, this mini versions of the S minis. These are the package versions. I didn't collect oop, every package version, but that's fine. Um, I don't need to collect all of them because <laughs> that'd be too much again. Um, and like, I heard they were kind of hard to find. So I was like, eh, do I really want to like do that? No, I don't. Let me see, here's this card. Oh, sorry, the page is like all cluttered. Or like the screen, <laughs> or like what you're viewing. Um, Fun fact, I actually do have these cards. They're upcoming in a, um, what 
gonna call it a haul. Um, or like my next storing video, they're gonna be here. So, um, look out for that. Um, but I do have them. <laughs> they're just I wanted to get this before I stored like all the shit that I was gonna store. So, um, these are the elements version, and then the sisters version is this version. I think I did that right. Did I? Hopefully. Um, because I know this is the Irene Elements. Yeah, this has to be Sisters. So yeah, the Sisters version. And then Elements. I think is correct. Um, but yeah, that's literally it <laughs> for, for Red Velvet. So yeah, this like binder is going to last me forever just because like I collect them. But I feel like, well, number one, Red Velvet doesn't come back a lot. Which, um, sad for collecting like i said last time for collecting good for like a general fan no it's not good because you know we don't get fed by them that much <laughs> um but yeah i was like this will just last me forever you know uh, that's why i also just like opted for the a4 plus because it would hold so many things um i guess like the next page that i get or next five set would just go here that's also a thing too i like um i like collecting by era so like basically this will always be blank <laughs> If that's the case. Um, but yeah, guys. Let me see. I'm going to put all this up and then regroup. And we'll do our conclusion. Alright, guys. That ends the video. Thank you so much, as always, for tuning in. Um, I've grown, like... <laughs> I haven't been posting, like, that frequently lately. But I think I've grown, like, 20 subscribers. Which is crazy. Because I was, like, 160. Now I'm at 180. Um... So I just want to appreciate everyone who's who's subscribing and like watching my stuff, even though I'm not um, like actively so far, like we're kind of like in a lull period for like comebacks and stuff. Well, for the groups that I collect anyway. <laughs> um, so hopefully like doesn't deter you guys too much from sticking around. But um, like, like always, you know, I'm always going to be sappy at the end of my videos. Um, I do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Um, I always have love for you guys. Um, and hopefully y'all stay with my crazy self because you know if you can't tell sometimes i'm a little unhinged with like what i <laughs> um like what i you know like right now i'm losing my track of thought oh lord hopefully that's not disturbing or like interrupts your your view time <laughs> but anyway again thank you so much um keep um tuning in because there is some like i did like my last video was pretty much like my future plans um, my last video anyway. And that pretty much sums up the upcoming months, um, that are approaching us. Can y'all believe the year's almost over? I know it's not almost over, technically. But, like, this year's going by too damn fast. Okay, anyways, <laughs> um, look forward for, like, a more neater, clean, um, like, I guess, updated collection of this binder um because it will be coming but anyways um you know i like to ramble anyways i have to cut myself off thank you guys love you so much i don't know why i did this i meant like this um <laughs> i always mix that shit up i did that in my other video um anyway thank you so much oh shit okay i'm starting to fuck shit up okay bye